Hi all, Heather here for Sew It Yourself. It is January 1st, 2021, and I am just going to do a walk through the store. A couple reasons. One is I want to document what I had for inventory, and uh, secondly, just give you an idea of what the store looks like, I guess. Might be a boring thing for some. Um, so inventory. Normally I have about 25 ladies show up and we do inventory in one day. And then I provide lunch and everybody has a good time. But this year, because of COVID, I could not do inventory that way. So it ended up that my staff are having to do inventory, which is a new experience for them. And, um, yeah, anyway, it's a lot more complicated than it normally is. So that's the other reason I just wanted to go through and actually show this all off. Uh, the other reason is because, um, I had a store in Prince Rupert, which I sold and that particular store ended up burning down in October. And the one thing that she said that would have been handy is if she had videotaped her stock because then she would have a visual of what it was. So when she went to the insurance company and said this is what I had in stock, she would actually have proof of it. So I might do this quarterly just to give a visual of what I have. Um, some of it's kind of messed up because we have had inventory happening already and the staff are putting these lovely done signs on the stuff that has been done. These are all solids over on this wall. We have another island of um, panels here. Lots and lots of panels. I don't know if anybody has more panels than I have. I definitely have tons. And then this down here is Tuscana. We have canvas in Dublin up on the top. On the very top is, I think they're called Shimmer. Most all of these are Northcott fabrics. There's a few others in there. Um, over here is a series that just came in recently. We have flannel. We have fat quarters, lots and bunches of fat quarters. And then this is, there's two series here. Now I'm going to those, that's canvas over on that wall. Over here, this is a very cool series. Very pretty. Um, I'm trying to think what it's, Venice is its name. It has two different colorways with panels to match, which are down there. Very cool. <clears throat> we have kits and other stuff there. We have glide thread, 40 weight. We have some Mettler thread. This is the uh, polyester uh, cotton wrapped finish. I don't know. Anyway, um, this is Guterman thread. And then we've got serger thread up top and all the threads there. We have some more Filtech threads over here and then variegated in Mettler. We have a roundy rack that has all the diaper making stuff on it. And then some specialty threads. We have clear vinyl, and then this is 
um, camouflage. Thank you. This is upholstery, and back in that corner is upholstery also. We have uh, Quixel patterns and McCall's patterns over on this side. We have some fancy fabrics here, mostly fa um, home decor. And then we have more vinyl over here. We have two different kinds of Skidoo vinyl. We have batting and foam over in the back, along with, this is our overstock over here. This is 50% off stuff down here. And then we have all the batting here, all the different kinds. We have cork. This isn't the super expensive cork, it's a lower grade. Still works for lots of home decor and other stuff. This whole section here is tool on top, and then home deck, and then uh, down here is more fashion weight stuff. This is all bottom weight, this wall. And then jacket is over on this side. So this is the really super expensive uh, Stroud or Duffel or Melton. It's, this one's quite thick, so it is 98, 95 a meter. And then we have lots of plaids, which are very cool. This is, there's some diaper fabric in here, some plaids, and then outerwear is up top. And then some more plaids over on this side. Over here, we have buttons of all kinds, and these are a dollar a pack, so they're discontinued. Over here we have, uh, that one's not going to turn really well, it's stuck. So there's buttons and findings on this side. more appliques there on top we have the 505 in the small and bubble jet set some other stuff this is all miscellaneous this used to be jhb button rack which is why there's still a few of them on there um but jhb is no longer around or i am not available able to get them anymore so now we've got miscellaneous buttons going on here as well. So I think four, three rows are, three sides are JHB and then the last side is miscellaneous. Okay, and then this is the um, HA Kid buttons, Alain. So these are kind of mid-range type of buttons. We're trying to get all of this stuff into the computer system because we're going to go to point of sale, which means that we will have uh, be able to sell on the internet, but it takes a while to get this much product in. So we have overstock of panels up there. This is um, Cuddle Text, it's called. It's similar to Fireside. And then this stuff down here is 90 wide, double-sided, fluffy, fuzzy stuff. We're moving into the fashion area. So I've got all sorts of shears. We've got knits and other stuff here, t-shirting, sweatshirt. We have polar fleece, some more t-shirting, knits. Sorry, not polar fleece, sweatshirt fleece. Over on this side, we have all of our poly cottons. Those are usually sold to our First Nations. They do prayer flags out of them. So if they're doing any kind of fancy ceremony, 
they want a pair of flags to go with it. Remnants. And then this is all stretched down here as well. And then, as you can see, I'm totally overstocked in this area. These are our satins. We've got shiny stuff up top. Satins and shears. Other fancy stuff that we... Uh, we sell some fashion, but not, not super large amounts of it, so... And then this is our velvets. I do have one rayon velvet, which is beautiful stuff. And uh, one silk velvet, which is, uh, this one's the silk and this one's the rayon. And then some more shears. Okay. We will take a trip down this side. So this I call the kids' prints. So they're all kind of novelty prints, all different kinds. Some, some more of the shimmer. It has like gold and silver flecks on it. Lots of that. This is kind of our farm stuff there. Uh, we did this side already. Patterns. So these are several layers thick. There's three sides to it. And there's several patterns on each one. And I don't know. I don't sell patterns. They're here, but I don't sell them. I don't know. But people want them, but then they don't buy them. It's weird. Uh, this is wildlife stuff. So there's ducks and bears and all sorts of stuff. Our Aztec type fabrics are there. This is mostly scenery. So we've got clouds. We've got rocks. We've got sand. We've got bark. We've got trees. So this is all what's in this section. Lots of stuff. White on white. Kind of saw some of this from the other side, but we'll show you this direction of it. And I'm totally overstocked in this as well. I'm gonna have to open another store somewhere just to downsize my stock. Now normally these sections here are full of fat quarters. However, we're selling lots of fat quarters for uh, masks, etc. So, uh, and we needed more space for bolts of fabric. So the bolts of fabric went in and the fat quarters went somewhere else on that other rack that you saw that's a little more accessible. Oh, why is it not turning? There we go. Anyway, this is a rack full of books. And there are many, many, many books. On this side, more blenders. I think we already did this row, but I'll do it one more time. And then this side is all batiks. So there's three rows of batiks. Most of them, well, there's still a few on the floor. My goal always is to have everything off the floor, but it doesn't always happen. And then this side is books over here. <clears throat> Eight feet of books. And we have uh, Flights of Fancy series, which is here. 
uh, we have a hockey fabric that came in there. And then this is like blacks and grays. And then Imperial something or other. So all that stuff there on top is kind of, what do they call it? Ellie of the Kings. And then black and white's on the bottom. Normally, this whole section is black and white, both sides. But I'm a little low on black and whites right now. But that's okay. Because I have made it up in other areas for sure more of the hockey fabric that will be coming in flannel as well but not for a while this is the stonehenge fabric which goes with that panel over there it's beautiful um it's all uh northcott fabric so over here we have the canadiana is the top row and then the bottom row is kind of novelty so there's uh, sewing stuff, there's hockey stuff, there's dragonflies, etc. So there's lots of other cool fabrics. Okay, that does up that side. Over here we have some bee fabric. And this is all cotton. And then from here in, it is flannel. So this whole section here is flannel. And we have two, three rows or three uh, units in here that are flannel, two rows high. Now lots of this is less expensive flannel. This stuff over on this side is the quilter's flannel, which is all very nice to work with. But on the other side is the less expensive and works better in rag quilts. So we had probably four or five inches of snow today. Lots of snow. I know this is fast. But you can always pause if there's something you want to look at for a longer period of time. And again, it's just kind of an overview of everything. And then again, this is mostly lower, less expensive flannel. Front counter always has a lot of stuff on it, which would be nice if you could get away with not having stuff on it, but impulse buying, what can you say? These are books that are available in panel form. This is all our elastic. Uh, we have over stock of flannel over here. And then we have some kits and some remnants there. We have all the Velcro is on this back wall. We just put in a security system, so that's kind of fun and interesting. And then I'll just do a quick overview of some of the antiques that we have here. So again, if there was a fire, all of that would have to be accounted for. The stained glass is from um, some people that do stained glass, and then they brought it in here to see if we can sell it here for them. Haven't had many bites yet, but you never know. Could happen. Up top is all panels along the railing did I mention we have lots of panels and then we have 
two closed lines that has panels on both sides of it. All right. Going up the stairs, we have Minky all the way up. And then over in this section is our notions. So this is all glues and adhesives is on this rack. And should be 505 up top, yep. Over here we have all the cutters and scissors which we were cleaned out at Christmas and we're having a hard time getting them back in. And then just miscellaneous um, tea toweling and some other funky fabrics that don't belong anywhere else. This is our wall of machine parts, etc. And then we have webbing. We have horsehair braid. We have boning. We have, and here's all the clips. As is those two blocks is the black clips that snap together on backpacks, etc. These kind of clips here. And then this is our wall of um, pins and safety pins, a few odds and ends. Over here is our sewing machine needles and thimbles. This rack here is all hand sewing needles. The back section is all kinds of patches. And over here is some other miscellaneous stuff. What else have we got here? This is for pressing. Um, this is all interfacing. That whole wall. This is more of the bulk interfacing that... Oh, that's actually... Oh, that's primed canvas. So this is actually for painting on. It's already primed. But there's other batting and um, other kinds of interfacing down there. This is what we've got for lining anymore. Lining is just not available anymore. And then this is our foam, etc. Um, I carry... 95% of the Pellon products. I just felt it was easier to go with one product line and then you know exactly what you have and what you don't have. So that was all the bra findings was here. This is all purse findings, D-rings, etc. This one back here is all marking. So all of your marking and tracing, etc. I do have a an order, so normally all of those places are full. However, Christmas, we did sell out of quite a bit. Over here is buttons to cover, right there. Buttons to cover, these are uh, industrial commercial type snaps, which we have the fancy snap machine for. These are uh, jean buttons, and then we have grommets and eyelets, etc. And then that carries on over here. And then we have sew-on snaps, hooks and eyes, etc. 
on top we have some steam seam we have some fancy upholstery tacks and this is all zippers so that is dress weight zippers here coat weight zippers um, coil lightweight zippers coil heavyweight zippers these are all invisible zippers, top and bottom, and in the middle is jean zippers. We have flowers, pre-made flowers. And when we go this way, we have duvet zippers on the back side of that. Over here is some quilting rulers, etc. Some of the novelty specialty rulers. hoops up top up along the whole top we have stencils for quilting we have dye a couple different kinds this will get reloaded here shortly and this is rickrack and specialty ribbon not ribbon specialty stuff anyway and then this is bias. I have two or three sizes of bias, plus a couple sizes of piping in bulk. Over here is our DMC. So we have all of the regular DMC here. We've got the balls of uh, pearl cotton. And yeah, I think that's about it. And then this rack here is all measuring stuff again I'm really low because of Christmas and those have all been reordered so they will show up shortly along here there's some cutting dies for the go die cutter and then a couple more squares all of the embroidery fabric is up top this is the back side of the upholstery and then we have polar fleece so we've got printed and then some solids down at the back we have some more polar fleece plus our animal prints some fun fur the bottom here some animal prints some printed and solid fleeces here more fun for up at the top and a few more polar fleece some sherpa in black and white back is down here and i think that pretty much does it I've got a few iron-on, um, what are they called, rhinestones, etc. there. And at the back we have the AccuQuilt, the studio, and several dies that go with it. Alright, up the stairs we go. I've got everything here. This is just thread we're trying to get rid of. Stuff I carried before but decided I wasn't selling. There's a few more hidden gems down there. Okay, upstairs we go. See all the minky on the way up. All right, this is trade-in fabric. So in the spring, I do a trade-in. People come in, bring up, bring their fabric that they don't want anymore. I give them a gift certificate for the stuff they brought in. And then I turn around and sell it up here at $2.95 a meter. There's always some neat treasures. 
We have pillow forms all the way from 12 inch square up to, I think 24 is maybe the largest. And then there's some rectangles and circles and and then quilt batting is up here, the bagged batting. This is felt. So there's two rows of felt on the bottom here, one row there. And then all the felt squares that are the same color as the stuff over here. And again, that's all on order. This is our Filtech thread that we use on the long arm. So the ones that have the plastic off are ones that we've used some off of. The rest are for sale. And then we have uh, bobbin fill as well for the, I think these are M size, which is the big ones for long arms and industrial machines. Because of COVID, we've got plastic up in different areas. And everything's a mess because we're uh, going to put another bookcase over here. So over here is the long arm. This is a demo long arm. And then these are all magazines, quilting, uh, sewing, knitting, crochet, you name it. So those have all come in and trade in. And then I've made this library. And then these are all books. Some are mine, some are from trade in. We have a pool table that is completely covered. Now I have a ping pong table on top, but it must be noted that under that ping pong table are books and they're all craft related books. And so all of this stuff here that you see will go up on that uh, rack that we're building. Here's a good look at the panels on this side of the clothesline. I'm not going to go back into the kitchen because it's just a mess. But um, this down here is all trade-in stuff. You get all sorts of stuff, craft supplies, etc. This is hook and loop Velcro. And it's a solid, it's on a solid piece of plastic. So if you're trying to do a blackout curtain around a window, this works really well on the one side because it, it will sit really tight against the window. This is our sequins by the meter. Lots and lots of them, different colors. Some are stretched, some are not. This is ribbon. This is lace and fancy trim and then there's this rack here of fancy trim This rack here is all uh, braiding and fringe. Now this year we're not selling a lot of fringe. Usually we sell it to the dance theater groups, but yeah, there is no dance happening, so no fringe. More fancy ribbon. We've got velvet ribbon is up here. And then over here is other fancy trim. This is all spools of tool, the skinny whole six inch, I guess, tool for decorating. This rack has a bunch of uh, clover crafting stuff on it, so. So there's four felting is all on this side. Looks like I'm short on some of the supplies for that. Uh, some of the beading stuff that Clover has. And then of course their neat flower making 
pom-pom or yo-yo making supplies. This has a couple purse handles on it and then some beads, etc. Some pom-poms and feathers. Uh, some doll supplies. We have styrofoam balls in different sizes. Getting really low on some of those. I need to reorder. We have the pellets for the weighted blankets. Got them in those small packages or we have them in big boxes of pellets, 25 pounds at a time. Down this wall, we have beading supplies. These are all supposed to be Mill Hill beads, but alas, the supplier I had is no more, and I have to locate a new supplier for Mill Hill. So that's why that one's so empty. Either that or might just cancel beads, I'm not sure. Undecided. Some uh, miscellaneous other beads. Some cake toppers. So if you're having an emergency wedding or just a wedding, I do have some cake toppers. So part of that is because I had children that were of marrying age. And I thought, oh, maybe they'll just choose one of these. But no, none of them chose any of the cake toppers that I had. But that's okay. Some candle making supplies. I brought that in because one of my girls decided she wanted to do candles. So I brought a bunch of supplies in. This is all uh, knitting and crochet supplies. Some canvas for rugs. So over here we have our knitting needles, the long ones. Over here we have the short knitting needles down here to do socks, etc. And then this is all crochet hooks. And everything that you see that's empty, that has a tag that isn't, doesn't have something hanging on it, will be filled shortly. Just, I placed an order just after Christmas and it hasn't come in yet. Some wool. Some latch hook, some more wool. This area is really a mess. Hmm. I don't spend much time up here. And then this is trade-in wool and trade-in machines. And this is all trade-in wool. So we'll bag stuff up. We'll put several things together and sell them. This is all overstock of flannel. This is our Halloween prints that we have left from last year. This is Paper Twist, which is something from the 80s, which I bought off a store that was selling out. Um, I don't sell a lot of it, but every once in a while you'll get somebody in that's wanting Paper Twist. And it's kind of nice to be able to say, yeah, we have it. And it didn't really cost me any money. Got it really super cheap. And this is all um, scrapbooking or crafts, um, memory album supplies. I did have a huge memory album section for a while, or scrapbooking section. And then another place in town opened up that was just scrapbooking so I decided that was maybe not something I needed oh I was going to show you the panels from up here as well more reeds I really have a lot of reeds they've been around for a while but anyway maybe next year I'll sell them off I wasn't able to do a sale because of COVID because I can't have that many people in the store so I had to forego sales. Normally I do a sale, a uh, Labor Day sale in September, 
and then a Boxing Week sale just to thin out my stock before inventory, but that did not happen this year. So we'll see. I might have to do more online sales just to get some of the stuff taken care of and out of the way. A lot of stock that needs to just move. Anyway, I'll finish inventory. Staff will be in again tomorrow and they'll be working on the rest of inventory. There's a lot to inventory when you see the whole store. There's an awful lot. Anyway, that's it. I'm done for this episode and We'll chat at you later. Bye for now.